Dear Aunt Cordelia, I regret having taken so long to write you this letter. Many adventures have distracted me since I last enjoyed your gentle company. My sudden travels began with the interruption of my wedding vows by a mild disagreement between my intended in-laws. Despite my intended example, dowry, I found it wise to abandon the future I had planned in Kennebunk and to leave with great dispatch. Indeed, with barely enough time to change into traveling clothes. It's him! It's that lion rat McDuff! myself in need of a horse, so I tamed a stray bronco. Ow! Later, I managed to procure a reservation for a sleeping car on the Missouri Express. <laughs> on April 1st, I reached the crossing of the mighty Missouri River, the gateway to the West, and freedom from the mistakes of my misguided past. Oh, the West. Oh, the glory. Oh, my feet. Oh, my sunburn. A chance to try again. Perhaps my luck had changed at last. Foot passenger, one dollar U.S. <laughs> A dime. Beat it, bub. Come on, ferryman. The wagons are all on board. Can we please get west before it's all been civilized? <laughs> Come, no more room on the boat. Oh, hog water. There's room for two more wagons if you put them crates over on the other side there with the chickens. Now, there's no more room, stranger. You heard the man. I believe he knows more about loading a ferry than you do. Hey, load this, farm boy. I don't recall asking your opinion. Farm boy? I have all the rude impertinence. At this point, I would not allow your wagon on board if there was room. Ours is a wagon train made up of the right kind of pioneer. And you, sir, are not. Oh, go get stuffed and mounted. Sir, I think it is time for you to draw a bath. Oh, you take a bath. But my personal aroma is not the issue oh, here, hey, sir. You're All right. Happy. All aboard. Shove off. <laughs> Oh, shiny nickel. Who's that? Quiet, you idiot. Ah, I mean, uh, eek! What you doing all gutsied up like a girl? Um, what you doing hiding under that wagon? Didn't have the fare. So you're stowaways, too? Mm-hmm. Although we stopped short of dressing up like girls. That was mighty resourceful of your friend. Named Lou, Lewis Clark Jefferson. And this is Mr. Romeo Jones. Randall P. McDuff. You both headed west? Uh, yep. You on the run? I guess. Us too. Well, me from Virginia, Romeo from an argument over a gal named Virginia. How's that for a coincidence? So, Romeo, is that a nickname? Kinda. <laughs> oh, fiddlesticks. Looks like he's already got a girlfriend. <laughs> hey, ferryman! Three stowaways! Maybe we could work our, our passage across. <laughs> well, boys, what now? Is that a ferry? Close enough. Well, good day to you, Jay. It's kind of wet, ain't you? <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome to Walleye Tom's Fantastical Ferry of Adventure. Only one thin dime to cross a mighty mole. Right this way, if you please. How do you do? I ain't changed my underwear in five weeks. Name's Bumpy Snitch. And this here is my fair maidenly flower of a daughter, ornery Sue. Miss? Consumption catch thee? Ain't she something? 
Nails. And I already had my bath this week. Howdy, partners. Name's Subliminy Jill. And this here's my faithful steed, Lariat. His friends call him Larry. Nice jump, Larry. Well, that's ten cents for you and a nickel for Larry. Lariat to you, stranger. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a good boy. That's my favorite. <laughs> <clears throat> that's a uh, right nice set of uh, firearms you got there, miss. Think so? Know how to handle them? What's your name, kid? Randall P. McDuff, miss. Well, Randy, you look like heck. You should see his other outfit. <laughs> What's your deal, handsome? You some kind of lady killer or something? <laughs> oh, that was worse a picture. Hey, ferryman, ain't we supposed to be further upstream? We're kind of losing the other side. Sure, it's unseasonable strong for April the 1st, miss. <laughs> Yep, looks like we're experiencing a little bit of turbulence, folks. Beauty of a day, though. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> now, it's not bad as luck, folks. Now I've been through worse than this. In fact, I gotta tell you, by the time I can pull this... Who the heck are you? Three-eyed cat. Fabulously well-to-do prospector and entrepreneur. Oh, and this here's my horse, three-legged Bob. <laughs> <laughs> well, since we're all about to meet our maker, I might as well unburden myself and tell you my big secret. Now, I ain't never let another mortal soul gaze upon this here map. It's the secret route to my diamond mine. El Glitterado. Quiet, you. This is important. Darn right it's important. Diamonds, big as my eye. Rubies, sapphires. Oh, and emeralds, that's of them. Worth thousands, I tell ya. Even hundreds. Where is it? Where is El Glitterado? Quiet, you. It lies at the end of the trail. Just outside of Seattle. The greatest city in Oregon. I think it's pronounced Oregon. Ever been there, Frenchie? No. Then shut up! To get there, you turn right at Seattle and head on north till you find the Big H. What's the Big H? <laughs> We all made it! Now wait, wait, where's that weird little guy with the glass eye and the wooden leg? Yeah, he's gone. Gone forever to the great beyond. You mean him? Blinking, blinking, call, fragging, got stuff in it! Cracking, making your forward syllabus! Now he's gone. Gone forever to the great beyond. So passes three-eyed Jack, one downright eccentric feller. Oh, bear trap! Why didn't somebody grab his map? Actually, I did. All right, hold it. Cease fire. I mean it. Now listen, there's been way too much violence. Why don't we stop all this and come to some kind of agreement? What do you mean, agreement? You know, a partnership, a business. We'll call ourselves the El Glitterado Exploring Expedition and swear ourselves to secrecy. And who's going to be the captain of this enterprise? Why, me, of course. Since I own and operate the expedition vehicle, namely this here wagon, that should give me an extra share in the partnership. Plus, I got the girl. That's another half share. That makes, uh, what, uh, four and a half? <laughs> well, I say it's every man and or woman for his or herself. Yup. It's one for all, or none for all. Bumpy already cocked it. 
Well, now it's twice as cocked. So all this time you was going off half cocked? Now you're just gonna break it. Hey, everybody, let's take a deep breath, okay? The old uh, Glitterado Exploration Expedition. Sounds like a great idea, Mr. Uh, Snitz. How about this? Equal partners. We each keep our own piece of the map and, and put the pieces together when we need to uh, make sure we're headed in the right direction to El Glitterado. I don't like it. That's a good idea, kid. Yeah, suits me. What do you say, Romeo? Can we have a secret handshake? I reckon. I'm in. No, oh, buffalo chips. I'm in, too. Oh, that sounds pretty good again. Yeah. Thus, an uneasy partnership was formed. But before the expedition could continue west, we had to repair the wagon's wheel and axle. Luckily, Lewis Clark Jefferson is an expert blacksmith. From an unlikely assortment of wagon parts, he improvised a forge, straightened the axle, and remounted the wheel, much to our collective astonishment. Well, I figure west is uh, that away, because you see the moss is on the windward side of the sun. Let's get going. Maybe we can catch up to that wagon train we saw at the cross. Oh, yeah. They'd be thrilled to see us. Yeah, Larry, get Good luck! <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, we're really flying. How far is it to Oregon? Never been. So, you three shooters are no doubt competing for the hand of my fair flower of a daughter. She's indeed lovely, sir. Does she talk? Well, her ma's a Sioux, so she talks Sioux sometimes when she's mad. Does she speak any English? I speak the king's English, thou leather and jerkin insolent noisemaker. So, no English. Oh, don't get her started. Her ma only give her one book, but it was a big one. The complete works of Willem Shakespeare. Thou didst drink the stale of horses in the gilded puddle which beasts would cough at, thou crusty botch of nature. Well said, Sue. Meanwhile, I'll thank all three to keep your lecherous eyes off of my maidenly daughter for the remainder of the trip. I can't hardly blame you for looking, though. I realize she's quite a catch. That girl ain't packing a full saddlebag. Yeah! You find the wagon train? Yep, they're about two miles up ahead. Should catch up with them by sundown when they stop for the night. Meanwhile, what do we got to eat around here? Well, there's some flour that ain't spoiled and some coffee that's mostly wet. Oh, and looky here! This will tide us over. Weasel jerky. Ooh, I better ride out and shoot us up some food. You're leaving again? Yep. Oh. So, this is the first time you've been away from your mom? Yeah. You're from town, ain't you? You know anything about being in the wilderness? Not really. You ever shoot a bird? Ever shoot a horse? Well, I shoot a bird, and I shot at a horse. But can you ride a horse? I'm not sure. Sheet lightning! You never rid a horse? Come on, Pilgrim. I'm gonna give you a couple survivor lessons on the house. Hang on to me here, kid. Easy there, Larry. It's okay. You don't weigh much. They can smell fear, you know. Well, I hope that's all they can smell. Yeah! See ya! I'm glad to be out in the open air and read them characters, ain't you? Yeah, I surely am, miss. Oh, shoot. Call me Jill. All right. Jill? Hey, what do you say we give them all the slip, put our two parts of the map together, and go find El Glitterado ourselves? Well, that sounds good to me. Yeah! Well, this place looks as likely as any to do the deed. Okay, partner. I showed you mine, now you show me yours. Let's try putting them together. Nuts! No ill glitterado, that's certain. Oh, let's get back to that dang wagon, then. But... What? Well, I thought we were gonna go off together. Sorry, kid. We need the rest of them characters, because they got the rest of the map. Is that all you wanted? Am I just a piece of map to you? Sure, I didn't want you for your good looks. 